All right, folks, what's up? Welcome back. Great debate is back in action. I'm with my boys again. Hey, look who we done found. I found Welcome. my boy. Lo lost uh -huh. and found. Lost and found over my here. Boy, Jay Down. We're what? back on the Raid Debate, man. We're back, baby. You hey. look nice. You got nice. Thank you, man. You got a nice looking collar. Yeah, we got a collared fishing shirt. Dang, where are you going on a date? I am. These bass tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, we going we changing it up just a little bit. There's so many bait topics to cover, man. There I mean, are. it's endless, right? So, again, trying to kind of stick with the theme of what's happening right now, springtime, blah blah blah. But also, just stuff that we use as professional anglers day in and day out that get the job done. So right here, I reached in the boat, pulled out the Bass Mafia box. This is my jig box, but I have some of my guys do the same. So we picked out four jigs. The category for today, finesse jigs. So not our flipping jigs, not our football. We keeping it finesse. And I don't even know where to start. So we only picked four. So y'all don't go too hard on this. We can't cover them all. You know that. We picked four that are out there in circulation, pretty easy to get a hold of, that we feel like get the job done. So we're going to kick it off with this little itty bitty little cute guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. The OG. That's who a bag. To, well, one of the OG. Who, who wants to, who wants to get this off? He, he's one probably of the OGs. You, know you probably know the most about him. Yeah. So, tell us what it is. You lose them on this song. <laughs> 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 hey, they, hey, they come off. Hey, they come off big time. So, I got I got some buddies back at home that they throw this jig right here. Free spawn. It's an eighth ounce. Dang. They throw it on a spinning rod. Straight eight pound fluorocarbon. What? Straight. Oh, why? That's eight. why they losing them. Straight I would eight. never understand eight. Eight pound? On a spinning pole. Why eight though? That's what they do. Straight braid of fluorocarbon, you lose even more. No way. Straight, you actually catch about 60%. They and jig fishing, that ain't good. They <laughs> that ain't good. 12 That's pound crazy. gold label and smash them. Nah, you still lose them. Hey, low key though, I had uh, a buddy of mine hooked like a six pounder yeah on this on this freaking little jig and i go down there and i try to boat flip it or not boat flip it, but grab it and it yeah. comes off and i pin him to the side of the boat and he ends up catching it it was like a six pounder i got buddies that fish chesapeake bay they catch a lot of really big bags on this jig 30 pounds. um they catch a lot of 20. like 22 to 25 pounds pre-spawn on this jig right okay, here. okay okay all right, all right and they'll throw this jig over like a like anything like a nice hook and everything yeah it blows no my mind way. blows my mind hey but it works it does all right, all right. So, so you gotta rate it. i gotta rate it so i'm gonna rate this jig only because this is a really technique specific like we're gonna talk about these other jigs but me this jig has a different purpose yeah and i don't know another jig that kind of suits that purpose yeah so i'm actually gonna give him like a seven okay. i'm gonna give him a seven the and skirt, that's it. The skirt kind of sucks. The hooks. Everything about this what jig brand, sucks. What brand is that? <laughs> <laughs> give him a seven. Give me, give me, give that's me the a, name. That's a we, Strike King Bitsy Bug. Strike King Bitsy Bug eighth ounce. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. This this jig sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Jig that you had 60% is a good day. Yeah, you might as well throw that sucker in the grass. <laughs> you might as well. That's fact. Fact. And so now this is the thing. The reason Adrian rated it why he did because he had a lot of history on it. Now I will say this, because striking. Okay, there's two. I think two major finesse jigs like an Eakins jig. Yeah. And then like this Bitsy Bug were the OGs. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the only reason I'm giving this any rating whatsoever is because it is one of the OGs in the finesse jig category. I'm going to quickly give you guys an update on this one, and it is going to be a 3.5. There we go. So do not buy him right now. He was great <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> but he's not the one you want to buy right now. Uh, 3.5 out right. of Look, yep. Straight a 3.5. Right. I think that's low-key the lowest rating I've heard on Rate Debate uh, yet. Ever. I'm rating him. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm going to Sav. Hey, it is what it is. Sav. It is what it is. It is what it is. You see, no. Hey, so look. Hey, look, 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 look. look. Okay, when you rate it, oh, though, mean. when you rate it, you look at your weed guard. Weed guard hook. Soft as heck. You're going to hook every log you ever get by. Your hook bends out with your fingernail. No, I no, think no, he ain't that bad, bro. Let me see it. Come on. He ain't that bad. You about no, to hook yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. about to go to the hospital here in a minute, man. No, nah, he's fine. All right, look. Strike King Bitsy Bug. Been around a long time. I don't know a ton about him. I'm going to be all the way real. I don't throw this jig. Uh, I don't have any history on this jig. But he's a very popular jig. A lot of people use him, like Adrian said, back home. I mean, this is a staple from some folks. I'm sure some of y'all watching at home, this is y'all's, this is the jig for you. It's just not the jig for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and rate him based on the skirt. I do actually like the skirt, and it's it's not hand-tied. They actually on, do have a nice skirt. It, it's on there pretty good. 
but it has a bronze hook that is pretty easy to open bend out um spin bolt it's definitely it's a spin bolt. the weed guard price is soft point. i actually price like point that is good though. price points legit like two dollars he's very easy to get a hold of <laughs> Yeah, you can buy them anywhere. Here you go. I'm gonna give him a five. I'm gonna give him a you five. Give him an average in the jig world. No, he, no he's average. not average, five. but he's five a five on, on rate to bait. On rate to bait. No, no, so five, five ain't five. average. Five right? is not average. Five average is, hey, average hey, is hey, gonna got, be way got, higher. Hey, you got Seven. five. You got you got you got a fifty in school, bro. You failed. Facts. So that that jig ain't a total failure. He's about a D. He's a D. So that's what I got to say. So you gave him a you gave him a C. Give no, him. I gave him a seven. Let's hear seven it, DC. This is the uh, best jig <laughs> in the world. Just not in the world that I live in. <laughs> <laughs> Just not in the world that I live in. <laughs> Number one, I don't like He has a bronze hook in him, and that thing will rust your whole boat into pieces. Facts, bro. Bronze hooks rust out. I'm going to give him... I mean, just for the fact that I went fishing, creek fishing with him, you got to understand, this is not my wife's calling. This is not a tournament bait for me. Yes, yes. it's I'm not a tournament. Five bait. out of ten. Yeah, which is which is not average. That's actually below That's average. Fine. Like like like. Yeah, because you guys would all be like, I, y'all y'all have like six six percent. Yeah, y'all like six. No, 5. your average jig, right? That you're gonna use in my mind is gonna be minimal of seven, which is gonna be a seventy percentile, right? <clears throat> Meaning your yeah. hookup ratio and every. It's not the best. He ain't the worst, but he he's gonna get the job done. All right, you know so, so, so we're going to give him overall. He's below average. He's below average. Yeah. All right, yeah. What's, what's next? All right, I'll moving along. That. We don't lost DC. Should it's we okay. Wait? No, no, no. DC will be back. Yeah, he'll be back. He'll come over here. All right. I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to kick it off because I got a little history Cross with this guy. This is uh, this is this is David Walker's signature jig right here. Shout out David Walker, man. This is uh, his cross eye series. Z-Man makes this, and I think he comes in a 3 8 ounce as well as a half ounce, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so... Let's go through the jig real quick. You got a solid hook, which is a VMC, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, I think it's like a maybe a 2 0 in this small yep. finesse hook. Got a bait keeper here, an oversized Wii guard. Probably three, I yeah. do like the head design on this, and I do like the fact that the line tie is perpendicular to the hook. I do like that. You like a cross eye? I like the cross <laughs> eyes on it. <laughs> Low key. Yeah, the cross eye. I think, I, I think that's that might be how he got his name. I don't know. Yeah, he's literally got two eyes. Well, he got two eyes. eyes. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about the, the, the line tie. Yeah, but then they also got cross eyes. He definitely got. Eyes. Yeah, he do got them eyes on. They never cross eyes. Looking at looking eyes at, yeah, looking yeah, at me. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, them bass see them eyes too. They man. got a doink in. Hey, so the the thing I'm gonna knock on this jig, and of course I used to be with Z Man. I fished this jig a lot. I caught a lot of bass on this jig. But the one thing I always hated about the jig was the oversized wee guard. He 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 kind of he's too too stiff and it's too much. On a finesse jig, I like a little bit of a lighter wee guard for better hookup percentage. But aside that, he's hand tied. Um, he got a stout hook and overall he's a pretty good jig, man. So I'm gonna give this jig, the Z-Man cross eye. I'm gonna give him a seven. Remember going back to what I seven. said? Yeah, he's he's right there. I'd he's say. in your box. He's in I, for a reason. I'll tie him on on tournament yep. day if I if I need to. Okay, the reason why you guys don't see like a lot of like like really low ratings and the rate debate is because when we do these, we're bringing our tournament tackle to literally the event. <laughs> right. So so if if we're not gonna have stuff that's not a under, it'd be like they're all gonna be six point five and up. So that's that's the reason why. Except okay. for this guy. Except for that one, and that's just Adrian. Hey, hey, I found him in my box. I, <laughs> he was in my box. We don't know exactly why, but I'll, I'll admit he was in my box. He okay. Was so the cross eye, head design for me, solid, okay. Um, I actually am a, very, a big fan of a heavier weed guard. Heavier weed guard allows you to get through cover way better than a light weed guard, regardless of what it is. So if I'm fishing brush, wood, whatever it is, a heavier weed guard allows that to happen. Um, if you have a light weed guard, you will be hung up all the time. A light weed guard is good for rock, yeah. but it's not good for wood. No. And you're gonna get hung up nonstop. So there's literally jigs you cannot make a cast into a brush pile with if it does not have a heavy weed guard. That's why I personally like a heavier weed guard. And then I can always take some out and make him lighter if I need to. Um, skirt material, that's the only thing I'm like, I don't know if the skirt, I means he's all right, he doesn't really flare out. That great. I mean, he's hand tied, but he's he doesn't really flare out that great. So overall, I'm gonna give this jig. Now, the one thing I will say, the the actual like soft plastic keeper, very good. 
It's a very solid keeper. That's, a, that's one I would recommend probably putting on a jig. Yeah. Um, so overall, I'm gonna give this jig. Um, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a six point eight because he's a very good jig. Six point five. Give him six point five. He's he had to take a third but, off. But I, but I, a a three tenths. I don't like. I do not six like. A, nah, six point. I don't like a cross eyed jig. I like an inline for the most part. Um, is my favorite personally. I don't really throw. I feel like I get through cover better with a, uh, with an inline um, line tie. Mm -hmm. But I, I know guys who love cross eyes. So a vertical line tie. Vertical yeah. versus horizontal. Correct. Right? Yes. Like these other three. Vertical versus horizontal. I like vertical. Personally, for me. Now, That's I'm gonna be honest with you. I like cross eye. But that, that's that. I'm gonna give him a six point five. Adrian, yeah. he's not a three point five. Yeah. A, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I've never thrown this jig. I, does, do, I, I, I do. I do see what you're saying about this weed oh, guard. Oh, that's a bad little dude. It is. It's it's a nice jig. Dang. It's a nice jig, and and honestly, it's not because I never really. Uh, I just never really knew about it. Yeah. <laughs> Me personally. Fishing poles on his No, you got fishing poles. And a net and a radio. Listen, listen. listen. Hey, that was Brody. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Brody. Oh, he got a fun in there. He had a net, two rods, and he had some slap. Man. And he had some slap on his jet ski. That's unbelievable. Hey, that's how I need to be living, bro. I need me one of them. Whipping. Okay, okay back to the cross. Uh, we, yeah, we all cross, so, so the cross side <laughs> jig, I, I, I'm the same way. So so me personally, I don't prefer this line tie. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of hand tied skirts. Whenever I don't care what jig you throw, a hand tied skirt automatically gets a one up. It does. Um, it does. I'm just looking at it here. I, I agree on the hook keeper. But this this to me, when I'm talking about finesse jigs. This to me isn't the same jig as a bitsy bug. Well, no, it's, it's not the same caliber. So nah. that, that jig's five dollars. That jig's two ninety nine. Well, that didn't, this this is a tiny jig. That's a tiny. That's a yeah, mini, mini, yeah, mini. Yeah. But so, really, so, so, like, so, like, so, so this is similar to a bitsy right. flip. Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah, but he's still in that. He in that. So he's still in that. He's still in that. Zone, a right, finesse right. jig. It's yeah. not a giant. Flip. I'll, I'll, I'll give him about a. I'll, I'll give him about a, a six and a half. Six and a half. Okay. All right. Don't copy. I'll give him six point four. <laughs> All right. Under. I'm gonna give him. Okay. Here we go. I've never thrown this jig, but I'm gonna tell you my biggest pet peeve on jigs. I'm gonna keep this real short. He ain't got much bite. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now. Weed guard is too stiff. I don't mind a stiff weed guard, but big dog, I can barely hook my hand through here. Right. He don't have any bite. Okay. From the hook point to literally the weed guard right there is your only time, like area to, to get a bite and like hook him. You're not going to hook nothing with that. Good luck catching a bass. I'm going to give him 1.3 out of 10. <laughs> I hate that. Hey, we I got a new that. lowest rating. 1.3. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.3. I'm telling y'all right now, I cannot stand a jig that has a hard. That was almost, my only thing. Yeah. Imagine this. Imagine hooking like a shaky head worm and barely hooking it. I hate, I have a pet peeve when bar people barely hook the plastic and you can't even punch the hook through the plastic. I always go through the plastic and then trim him back in. Yeah, yeah. Back. yeah. What they call that? Tech spose. He tech yeah. spose. Yeah, you tech spose. That's what I do. And a lot of people, they like hook it in there. It's almost like a frog hook, you know, like a ribbit or something. Yeah. You know when like somebody buries their the hook in there? I can grab it and squeeze it with my hand and pull it. You can't even get the hook in yeah. there. How are you going to hook that fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 1.1. 1. 1. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 1.3. How can you give it 1.1 1. 1 <laughs> talk or a fish bug? Uh, uh, hey, I've actually one. called him on my man, bro. He's actually not a bad jig. 1.1. 1. 1. All right. I think, I think we all can talk about my man right here, though. I don't even know if we should be talking about it. I don't that. either. I, I didn't even call him. We gonna, we gonna call throw, him my name. We're going to throw uh, a uh, nugget. It's a, it's a Japanese uh, finesse jig. No, we got, we got to get the people a nugget, man. Every once in a while, you got to come no, up with a nugget. No, it's the tungsten finesse jig. Yeah, I call it that. Tungsten finesse jig. Y'all don't want to get people a nugget? No. <laughs> Yeah, if you would have asked me about three years ago if I would have gave that up, man, I would have said nah, you were but see, But, but it's, it's been copied and wait, duplicated wait, 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 and for all this for a minute now. It's been out there. But anyway... We're gonna share it. A Japanese. Nah, just just spill the beans. He's gonna say what it yeah, is. Hey, look, y'all already know. Hey, hey. This is a Kai Tech. 
Okay. Kai Take Jig. Uh, Kai Take Jig. Model, I'm going to let you. Uh, hey, that's a model two. That's a model two. Model two, Kai Take Jig. Okay. Model two, Kai Take Jig. First off, it is a seven, what, six dollar nine? Six, five He's nine, expensive. Nine, seven, nine. Very expensive jig. So, like, in, in the grand scheme of it all, two ninety nine, four ninety nine, seven ninety nine, or whatever it is, for six ninety nine, you're going to get a better quality component. So, just how it works. Yeah. Um, overall, I've caught a lot of bass in this jig. And, um, you know, the first thing, the one thing I will say that, that separates that jig is <clears throat> the skirt. The skirt is, is, is premium, premium material. Yep. Very nice, hand tied. And in addition to that, like you never have them come off. It's like well, it's well tied as well. It's like it's like the perfect even amount, um, which is really nice. Um, in addition to that, your hook up ratio. The only thing I will say about it, about the hook, is you can lose them on this jig. It's not a great. There's not a ton of bites. Sort of like what Dustin was talking about. You have to tweak that hook out a little bit. It, you know, it's not a super. He it is a finesse jig. It, the hook's not. You're not going to be flipping heavy cover with this jig. The weed guard is light. You want to fish around wood? Don't throw this jig because you're going to be hung up all the time. If you flip it into a lay down, don't expect to get this jig back. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, he gone. Seven dollars going down the drain. <laughs> so, in that scenario, I I'm still there's room for improvement, but overall, with it being a almost an eight dollar seven dollar jig, I'm going to give this jig a seven out of a ten. I think there's a lot of room for him. Hey, he's, he's tough, man. Yeah, J Dub a hard critic. That's why we had to bring him back, bro. He's, he's a tough. J Dub is a super hard critic. He said he bro. said he sets the bar really hard. Yeah, he do, man. Know? It's hard to talk at. Is, is there a ten out of ten? There's out not. There. Okay. But I've been working on one. Uh, ah. Uh, right. Here we go. I'm gonna make it short and sweet. All right. Opposite of the Z-Man, this one has a very soft wee guard. Okay. Now, like Jacob said, you throw him in the lay down, he's gone. But for me, hook up ratio, you get that bite, you want to get that hook in that bass, this is a really good jig for that. If you're fishing pea gravel banks. If you're fishing rock. I like him around rock. <laughs> yeah, you, throw, you can't throw him around wood. But anyway, the skirt material is high quality. He's a tungsten jig, so off the top, you know that's going to increase the, the, the overall feel the performance of the jig and does, does it really price. does it really does tungsten really make i, I want to yes. ask do you 100%. feel like it has yes. more if better 100%. feel you think so? what 100%. you can feel him every you more can feel every little 100%. thing down there you can feel him way better even, uh, with, uh, even, with, a, like 10 maybe even better. with a drop shot weight bro when you dragging him around you can feel so much better with tungsten, hey drop bro. shot go drop shot Saint some with some oh, lead you're gonna be pissed you'll be like we're like it feel like you just it feel like you got mono yeah and then Straight you hit tungsten, it's like exactly, 100%. and that's how this jig really hundred yeah. percent, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm learning something today. <clears throat> so I just want to know what hey, actually. So Jacob's actually Jacob's know. jig's like, really gonna be like a nine then, since it's not gonna be tungsten. Yeah, so he's gonna be tungsten. Yeah, he's gonna be tungsten. I don't feel like seven point six. Unless they don't bite on the fall, it don't matter. Yeah. All right, let me really rate him real quick. <laughs> let me rate him real quick. Sorry. Now you good? You will lose some bass on this, like J Dub said, but big you will get you will get big. I'm gonna give my man because I I really love this jig. Think about how big you lost, though. <laughs> uh, he's a 7.8, man. Yeah, okay, I get, I get wow. 7.8. Right. Yeah, yeah he, he's good, bro. I give him a 7. Yeah, he's good. It's a good jig. It's a good jig. It's a really good jig. So, so th this here is the Model 2. They had a Model 1. I personally don't like the lead finish yeah. on the head. You like black head. I do. Or or match it. You know, this is a green, this is a PB&J. I call it PB&J. I put a you know, like a green pumpkin head on there. Mm -hmm. um, I think when brown you're paying when, or brown head. I think yeah. when you're when you're paying that kind of money for a jig, I feel like that's something really easy to do, and I don't know why they do it. If you do throw this jig, Jacob had mentioned it already. You want to tweak it out a little bit. Hook. Um, mm -hmm. You got to tweak that, tweak it out a little bit. Don't better um, it out, but tweak it. I love tweaking. <laughs> the color selections, the color selections aren't great. You know, they got, they have, you know, they have your black and blue, they have your black, they have your, you know, your green pumpkin. I think green pumpkin chartreuse is another good one that we Dark throw. Dark green pumpkin. Um, like but I've caught, I'm telling you, out of all these jigs, I mean, you could take all these jigs in that box right there. I've caught more bass on this jig than any of them. You love that jig. I do. I do. I've caught a lot of five pounders on it. I, it is very good. If they can go up one size and hook, it would be a really, really good jig. But they don't. So. Yeah. But they don't. They don't. <laughs> So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'm gonna give this jig an eight and a half. Eight and a wow, half. Wow, what a time to be alive. You love it. It did, it did set the bar. To be honest, it set the bar like six years ago. There's, there's, there's no. There's no tournaments won on that jig. There's Dude, no a, better jig that you can go to the tackle shop or you can go on whatever retailer you want to go to and buy a jig. There's no better jig than that one right 
Okay. Mm. Here we are. Yeah, like, I, 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 you're trying to, when so you're like, other than custom jigs. When you're talking, other, yeah, well, you other can't than count custom, custom because custom people can't buy. Right. Yeah. All right. Number one. But when you're talking about retail. Print, if you're one of the best of the when premium. You're, when you're talking much. about rock. Now, we're not talking about wood like these guys said. Yeah, don't be free for this or you're going to lie down. Yeah. Pilings. All right, so number one. I have caught him on this jig. I have. I caught him. I actually caught him like two weeks ago. On it. Mm -hmm. Um, I like this jig. I lo I love this jig, but here's the downsides. I don't like the hook on him. You like slack lining. Well, I don't like the hook on him that slack. much, cause dude, when I tell you this hook is made of butter, the tip will roll over in a minute. Mm -hmm. It will. Yeah. The tip rolls over, boys. Yeah. Does it, it not? It does. Yeah, he will. I don't know why. I think they made it out of margarine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a roll over. Thanks. Bad. Yeah. So, so like, the tip will literally roll over. And once that tip rolls over on that hook, he's done. Yeah. Throw him. Don't. I was about to say throw him in the lake, but we're not litterers. Throw him back in your junk pile. Yep. Um, the pressure jig. Yep. Yep. Uh, I don't like that about it. Other than that, solid jig. They did a great job with the skirt. It looks phenomenal. That's the best thing about that jig. Um, hook you little baby, so I like the hook. Little baby hook. hook. I love the hook. I feel like I can catch a crappie on it. They need <laughs> to make it a little bit bigger. A little bigger hook. For yeah. that, for that reason, I'm gonna give him a 6.7. 6 6.7. 7. Because I can make this jig phenomenal, but they won't listen to me. Because <laughs> they don't know me. You don't speak the same language. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to say 6.7. Yeah, it's all right. All right, last but not least, we got one more, and we out of here, y'all. This right here is Buckeyes. This is G-Man. Oh, G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Buckeye, balling, what is it, balling out? Balling out jig. And I think he calls it that because it has a round, bald head, you know? And I think this one came out of DC's box. So you you trimmed him up and made him like that. That no Ethan way. style. No, no sir. That's, that's how he it came, is. He came like came. that. That's how he came. I thought some of them had the full poof as well. No, that's it. Anyway. Hey, like, like your bass this week. Exactly. <laughs> hey, damn. Why are you going to bring up? That's a sword. That's a sense of the sun. Hey, damn, boy. Bro. Hey, poof. Gone. Anyway. All right. G-Man's balling out jig. With the collar. He kind of went after the, the Eakin jig look with the collar. A lot of finesse jigs have that collar around it like that um i think he comes in from like a quarter ounce all the way up to a three quarter ounce Dude, that's so a, a lot of sizes yeah, this is a three quarter that's, that's heavy it's a big boy right here um they got a unique skirt attachment here i'm not really sure but it's on there pretty good it's kind of similar to the uh to the bitsy you know it's it's on there pretty dang on good though i actually have not spent a lot of time with this jig but i know he's a very popular one a lot of guys like him he got a good stout hook it's a mustad I think that's a three odd in there in line line tie that you boys like i actually prefer to cross eyed me personally and he has a pretty stout we guard which you like i don't really care for as much so i'm gonna bust off and give g-man on this one right here the buckeye balling out jig i'm gonna give him a 6.5 off the rippy off the rip off the rippy j-dub Okay, big advantage. Disadvantage is the skirt. Skirt material, it's nice. You know, hand-tied skirts are, are, are premium. But this is the thing, this is also we have to factor in. Price, price point, point all, all jig has to be has to be factored. That's why, like we talked about the high end, we have we have bitsy bugs at the low end, we yep. have all, uh, you know, these are more in the middle of the road. The one thing I do like about this jig is, is, is the hook point and the bite is pretty dang solid. Mm -hmm. Your line tied to your hook point is is that is the number one thing that I really do. DC sort of hit on that in this in this video. I like that. I also do like a heavier weed guard. Heavier weed guard allows for it to be, be around. This is not a wood jig. A ball oh my jig. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> do not ever throw a ball head jig around wood. Don't. <laughs> do not. It's horrible. So DC had to tell us a story. Now we're back. And, and so realistically <laughs> This right here, I'm I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a six, six and a half, just because I think he did a good job with the hook and what he had and everything. I just don't personally throw a jig like that that much, so that's just my that's my opinion. Six and a half. Keep it simple. I think it is yeah. good. I think no, it's good quality right. for what I think the components are. What'd you give him? I gave him a six point five. He gave him the same thing. The bite's actually perfect. It is very good. Mm -hmm. Weegar's perfect too. Hey G Man did a good job. Well, yeah, what, what, what kind of... I was trying to figure out. But so he on there, he's on there good, see, though. Nah, 
No. Oh, no, he ain't. No, oh, he ain't. ain't. No. Bro, oh, God. God. Loki has probably been in DC's box it for has. a long oh, time. Oh, look it at him. He, 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 he old. <laughs> but that's actually perfect. If I threw a ball jig, I'd probably throw this one. I, I would, too. It's yeah. a very nice hush. It's a very nice head. It's a nice line tie, everything. He's stout, too. He ain't what is, it? is that like a mustad? It's a mustad. Ultra point, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a three eye. Uh, it might be a four. Uh, I think it's a three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, minus a skirt. If I was throwing a ball head jig, I would throw this jig. And uh, I like the bite. I like the hook. I like, I like everything about it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him for a ball jig. I'm gonna give him an eight. Yeah, he's nice. Very nice. Wow, yeah. what a time. Man, so if he has a skirt, skirt on, on him, he'd, skirt. Be like, uh, he'd be a nine. All right, here we go. Because he's not tungsten. Here we go. So this is very, very <laughs> similar tungsten, to a War Eagle. Okay, it, it's basically identical to the War Eagle ball head jig. Except he's skirtless. <laughs> yep, he's skirtless. He ain't got a skirt on. Uh, basically identical to it. Except the only, and I've caught a lot of fish on a finesse jig. I've caught a lot of big spotted bass. And this is the only downside about this hook. The gauge of this hook is a little bit too big for me. Um, I normally throw jigs on 20 pound line, but still, just to drive that hook in, you need a lot of backbone, a lot of power. And uh, the, the hook gauge needs to be a little bit less. You gotta keep in mind, I mean, you, this is a three quarter ounce jig right here, it but they, they make they make halves and whatnot, but yeah. make him a little bit less, and you got a great jig. But I'm gonna give him, I mean, I'm gonna give him a 7.5. 7.5. But he did copy War Eagle, so I'm gonna show him show out on that. Hey, hey, hey G-Man's got to look like you too. He's oh, he's slackliner. He, yeah. he, he rocked the hat. He's gonna yeah. slackline him. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, and that that's might why be he why he went with that thicker gauge mm -hmm. hook. Yeah. 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 All right, y'all, that, that wraps it up, man. We back right to base. So, y'all make sure y'all drop a comment. Follow my boys on YouTube. They do a great job, of course. They help me out, take a little time off their lives to keep this rolling for y'all. Drop a comment, let us know what y'all wanna see next. We're gonna do all the jigs at some point, so we got that covered, but. There's endless base, so y'all let us know, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.